It's time to focus on what you need to do to set up your Dexcom G4 Platinum receiver the first time you use your system. After completing this step, you will have activated your transmitter, set the time and date on your receiver, set your unique transmitter ID into your receiver to make sure your transmitter and receiver talk only to each other, set your individualized high and low glucose alert levels on your receiver, Learned more about your three-hour trend graph screen, which is the home screen. Before setting up your receiver, remove your transmitter from its tray and wait 10 minutes for it to be activated. The first thing you're going to need to do is turn your receiver on. You do this by pressing the Select button. When you turn your receiver on for the first time, the device's setup wizard will help you get started by prompting you to enter the following information. First, the time and date. To set the time and date, press the right button to highlight each value and to move to the next value. Press the up-down buttons to adjust each value. After setting the AMPM value, press the select button to accept changes and move on to the next step in the setup wizard, setting your transmitter ID. Your unique transmitter ID makes it possible for your transmitter to talk only to your receiver. The ID can be found in the following locations. On the outside of the transmitter box label and engraved on the back of the transmitter itself. If you have difficulty locating your transmitter ID, contact Dexcom Technical Support. Enter each transmitter ID letter or number into the receiver one at a time. Start with the first letter or number. Press the up or down buttons to adjust each value. Press the right or select button to move to the next field. After entering the last value, press the select button. Note, you can only enter your transmitter ID before you activate your sensor. During a sensor session, transmitter ID will not appear as an option on your device. For the final step in your initial setup, we will set your low and high glucose alert levels. These levels allow your receiver to alert you when your sensor readings trend above or below your individualized alert levels. These alerts are not meant to be your target levels, but the levels at which you want to be alerted so that you can take action before you get too low or too high. The alerts are defaulted to be turned on and set at 80 mg per deciliter for low and 200 mg per deciliter for high. These can be individualized based on your needs, personal experience, or suggestions from your healthcare provider. To set your low glucose alert level, press the up and down buttons to adjust your low alert value. Press select to accept this value. Repeat these steps to set your high alert value. As you use the Dexcom G4 Platinum system, you may need to change the high and low glucose alerts you initially set up. You can change or individualize these alerts whenever you want to, or whenever your healthcare provider suggests changing them to best meet your needs. Again, alerts on your Dexcom G4 Platinum system can be set based on your individual needs. Alerts are confirmed by pressing the Select button. We will discuss alert profiles in Step 3. After initial setup, when you turn your receiver on, your home screen, which is the 3-hour trend graph screen, will appear. Your Dexcom G4 Platinum alert settings will be displayed on your trend graphs. Your low alert setting is seen as a red line across the trend graph. Your high alert setting is seen as a yellow line across the trend graph. You will also see the following on your trend graphs. A gray zone that highlights your target glucose range. The size of your gray zone will depend on your high and low glucose alert settings. Your glucose reading as a numerical value when you are in an active sensor session. In other words, once you have started your seven day sensor session, this number will be white if it's in your target glucose range, red if it's low based on your settings, and yellow if it's high. The dots on your trend graph will also change color based on your low and high alert settings. Note, if your low glucose alert is not set and your glucose level is 55 mg per deciliter or lower, your glucose value will be red. You can view your past glucose information through the 1, 3, 6, 12, and 24-hour trend graphs. Access these trend graphs by pressing the up or down buttons. 